This is the second video in the series of videos about Riddle's law. And in this video, we go through a simple example. In the first video, we showed what Riddle's law is and how the formula looks like. Let's take a simple process and use this formula. Suppose we have a process with a processing job and before this job is a queue. One order enters the process and it takes four days to complete the work, including some time it waits in the queue before it is processed. Every week we want to produce 20 orders, so the input and output should be 20 per week. Our company works seven days and around the clock. So, how many orders are there in the production system? In other words, what is the work in progress in this system? Well, if we take Little's law, that states the work in progress equals the throughput multiplied by the total time it takes for an order to go through the system, we can calculate this VIP. The throughput is 20 orders in one week, or 20 orders per seven days, and it takes four days for the total production time. The average number of orders in this production system is 11.4. Let's take another simple calculation. Now we have a similar production system and the average total time for one order is three days. We go to the shop floor a few times this week and we see that usually five orders wait in the queue and one order is being processed. This company works from Mondays till Fridays. We want to know how much orders this production system can produce every week. Now we use Little's law and we want to know the throughput. This is the work in progress. So the five orders waiting and the one being processed. This makes six and divide this to the total time of three days. We see we can make two orders every day and this makes 10 orders per week of five working days. These were two short and simple examples of Little's law. In the next video, we will make things a little more difficult and add an extra production unit in the processing job.